So hello YouTube and welcome to another video. In this week's video I thought I would do something a little bit different and show you how I created this monstrosity. <laughs> which you can find online but I thought I would just show you in a video anyway because every Christmas I like to do it and it looks insane and I look a bit uh unique I guess. <laughs> I think the best thing to do is just to take it out to start with. Are you good Pip? Are you good? Okay this is gonna be fun because the whole thing's now gonna just come tumbling down if it even comes out. There we go. And you just kind of take it down. Ow. And it goes in front of your eyes and you can't see. So firstly, you have to make your hair look a little bit like this. Now I know it looks insane. You can bring hair forward as well. I find that I prefer it when I've got a bit of hair here just to make my face look a bit, I don't know, slimmer. Basically, it doesn't matter what it looks like, but in here you will see there is a fruit shoot bottle. <laughs> and basically I just whack my hair up and then put it at the top with like a little hair bubble. Are you good? Are you good? And then also any little baby hairs that come down here, I just put a bobby pin in them. So I've got a few baby hairs at the back that keep coming down. Ooh, ooh, there's a sound of the police. So then what you'll need to do is you'll need to grab your tinsel once you sort this out. Literally just get a fruit shoe bottle, whack your hair up, bun it up, put a bobby pin in if you need. I got this from the range. I decided to go for uh, every multicolor I could because I figured if I just pick a color, it's going to look weird against what I wear. If I wear every color, it won't matter. So what I tend to do, and this could go well or badly, is I get the end of one end and a bobby pin and I bobby pin it into the back. Uh, usually, let's see if I can show you this. Probably not, but I'll try it. I bobby pin it right round the right hand side and then try and like upwards bobby pin it like this I guess. It may not stay there so I recommend holding on to it. Then is the fun part. What I tend to do is I tend to just try and get it onto my head to start with which will involve a bit of manoeuvring. So make sure it's kind of tight here, throw it over the top and keep going round until you get to where is the top there's the top and then you secure it by adding the other end into the bubble and you just feed it in and it should look a little bit like this basically it just looks like just loads of tinsel and then you just maneuver it around to where you want it now what i tend to do is near the front i'll try and put it a bit lower so i'll try and put it a bit more onto my forehead and then a bit lower on the right hand side, down here. Sort the hair out near the front, which is probably all over in your face at this point because I didn't secure it. And then you just try and have a little feel, see if you can fill any bubbles. There might be like a gap near the top, but to be fair, there's so much tinsel, you won't probably be able to see it. <laughs> Maybe get someone to help you look. But anyway, it's done <laughs> and then you basically i can't even show you it's it's huge <laughs> it's just it's basically just like a christmas tree but you can also add in baubles and lights i think one year i tried to add in baubles but obviously it's a lot harder because unless you have like a lot of hair you gotta like try and bobby pin them all in or alternatively if you really want to go all out you could probably put the baubles in the tinsel like along them and then do it up but it, i just like going with the tinsel because the tinsel is quite a lot on its own so i hope you liked that video if you did you can give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments any other videos you'd like me to make and i shall see you later youtube bye wow.